just got a call from one of the landowners that I trap wild dogs for. They lost four calves the other night, a couple of calves a night or so before that, and uh, yeah, the dogs are coming in thick and fast. So uh, it's been a mad scramble to get all the gear ready, but I think we're all packed up and uh, looking good. Got uh, Skunk and Dash in the back. They're with me now, and the swag, and Judy's cooked up plenty of tucker for me to eat. So uh, yeah, let's go down there and do battle with this, this mob of wild dogs and see how we go. up last night to the uh, property and yeah, come out this morning just to look around just see what I can find landowner took us for a uh, drive around and uh, there's dog tracks everywhere I think quite a few of them are sort of very very much domestic dogs uh, gone wild and I just pulled up here beside a, uh, a road that goes through the uh, property and I can see a calf dead here where it's been uh, it's actually been killed on the fence they saw it killed there a couple of days ago and they've dragged it out actually under the road. We'll go and have a look. Ooh. Make sure you lift up high if you go over that one. Alright. Yeah, this looks like where it's been killed. And they've chewed part of it there. And they've dragged it here. Dragged it out on the road. Yeah, well, good place to look around here then. Down by this dam over here, back behind us. We'll get some traps set. And this is what you've got to contend with when you're trapping in this country. I just set three traps here. I'll come back to see what's What's happened to them? About 10 minutes later. I haven't disturbed that one. That one's still okay. The cattle have walked right past this one here. I think it's still okay. Yep. And this one here. It's still okay as well. Get out of here, girls. I'm trying to save your future calves lives it's a nice foggy morning we had about oh, probably 15 mils of rain uh, yesterday afternoon just on dark so uh yeah fog hanging in the valleys but uh, we're heading out to check our first row of traps now never know there's some real crossbred dogs kicking around here some uh, ones with a higher degree of, uh, of dingo in them uh, but uh, just about all of them are, are crossbred which is terrible when you you think that we should have pure dingoes in this country but anyway that's what happens and that's the beauty of mother nature that hill there looked like it was totally destroyed. It was trying to fight its way back. The small trees are coming. The uh, big trees have sprouted more leaves and limbs. And I know it'll never be the same as what it was before. And a lot of animals would have perished in there and a lot of trees will die and won't make it. But nature repairs and it's given it a chance. Pretty much in a nutshell, that's what this business is about. 
I'm out here trapping wild dogs for these landowners simply because this is cattle country. This is how these people make a dollar. This is their contribution to this country. Uh, the taxes these people pay and the wages that they pay, the machinery they buy, everything goes into being a large part of this economy that we've got. And that fuels everybody. That keeps the local towns going. Uh, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big industry, massive, massive industry and a very important industry for this country. So to come down to the basics, it's, it's production of cattle. So production of cattle is breeding little calves. Now those little calves are getting their throats pulled out, their ears chewed off or the backsides chewed out as they're born by wild dogs. Uh, well then you don't have much of an industry, do you? So that's what Skunky and I are doing. We're going around here. And we're just controlling wild dogs because they've got to be controlled. And when we say wild dogs, it's not that they are pure dingoes. Um, this stuff here with, you know, <laughs> big wolf heads on them and spots and stumpy tails and, and uh, you know, big hairy faces and whatever. There's all these crossbred dogs that have come from, mainly from people just dumping unwanted pups out in the bush. And, uh, yeah, it's people again. It's people have caused a problem that's uh, now impacting on a lot of people, and we're going to come along and try and tidy it up. So it's a tough job, but it's got to be done. Very skunk. Where are the skunk? Where are they? Where's the dingo skunk? Where's the dingo? Where's the dingo skunk? It's going down here to check another trap. Okay, we're coming up on our, we just come into our first trap sets here now. Now this was an old pregnant female. Uh, she had the remains of a white collar around her neck. It looked like it had been there for many, many years. Uh, this animal looked to be a dingo cross domestic and probably was the main source of the crossbred dogs that was causing all the problems in the area. Unfortunately, my camera battery failed right at that moment and I didn't get any more footage. Skunk and I would come along here thinking that we'd uh, had missed out again this morning and we've been a pretty slow run and we've come along here to our trap set and we've got a dog couldn't see him for a start he was in behind this uh, log where do you reckon it's gonna go hey get the 22 oh yeah we'd seen these tracks come along the road here for about oh, a kilometre I suppose now Skunk, skunk, here. Yeah. Okay, he's taken that trap from there. Sit. Another trap right here, skunko. Another trap right here. Good stuff. Scratch it around. Up, 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 up. Yeah, good big male. Front pool catch. Where it's meant to be. Very basic set. Yeah, that's a pretty good result. A big old dog, big strong dog and uh, taken right in the center of where they are losing the calves. So this is probably one of the, uh, the culprits. Uh, even if we don't get many dogs on this run, uh, to get this one is probably a big achievement in itself. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that.
Now there's many reasons why you should check your traps every single day. Not just the animal welfare side of it, because you don't want a dog caught in there uh, for any longer than what you possibly uh, can, um, if you can help it. But there's another reason, and that's because there's other things that will wreck your trap, uh, your trap set, and if you don't check them, well then you just won't catch dogs. Here's a classic example here. We've had something come through here. There might have been a goanna, it might have been a bird. You can see how it's knocked the stepping stick away. There is actually the trap set. The corner of the trap has been exposed there. It's not a dog, it's some little critter, probably a bird, and they've really wrecked that set. So I'll just clean it up a little bit. A little bit of dirt back there. And we might put a different stepping stick there that's not as easy to, to move out of the road. I still want something that'll identify that as what they need to step over. I'll just put a bit of a scratch there. We'll get some lighter sticks. Break a little bit of lighter stick. I'll put that one there. I'll put, I might put that one in there. And that one in there. Just a little bit of dust back over the side of them. That's still a visual. But I'm hoping that they'll be a little bit harder for something to dislodge. And there's um, bitches urine in under here. And uh, yeah, still probably a very good set. Put that stick over to one side so that it's more likely they'll put their foot there. And let's see what happens tonight. Look at these little guys. Hey, Look at these beautiful little calves here. They're just snack packs for a wild dog. Going, snack pack. We've just come onto the uh, site here now where we set this drag after catching the dog here yesterday morning and it's gone again. Where'd he go, skunk? Find him, mate. Where's he gone? Okay. Good stuff. Big bitch. Oh yeah, you're big and tough now. You're big and tough now. Good skills. Well, that's the result I was looking for. That's our third dog now out of this uh, one pack that's uh, been killing these calves here. All oh, right in the center of where these calves have been killed. Three dogs, that's great.